talk about, let's do this one in red first. Okay, so P. So P is right there. So if we wanted to find, we're looking for Fx, meaning the rate of change when what is changing. What does Fx mean when, when X is changing? So Y is constant. So you're looking at something that's like this right here. So are you going uphill or are you going downhill? If I was walking in that direction on that surface, would I be going uphill or downhill? Sorry, I drove it in the wrong way. Y is constant, I'm very sorry. It goes this way, I'm very sorry, it goes this way. So when X is increasing, sorry, you're walking uphill or downhill? Uh, uphill, so this is gonna be greater than zero. And let's use green here for this one. So na now, so when you do F, F, Y, so what's constant when Y is changing? X is constant, so you're going up like this. So as, as you're walking in that direction, are you going uphill or downhill? Uphill. You're going uphill, exactly. So then you do the same thing for each of those. You do the same thing, you do the same thing. The key though is, the key though is, you're always doing these as X increases and as Y increases. As X increases and Y increases. So let's just do one more, I'll do one. Let's do a Q, just to make it a little different here. So let's do Q here. Here's Q, uh, FX for Q. As X, so we do this one like this, you're going to the right as X increases right there. So Y is constant, are you going uphill or downhill? You're going uphill again, right? But now, on this one right now, if I go this way now, what's FY gonna be? What's FY gonna be? All right, right here, are you going uphill or downhill? downhill? You're going downhill, yes. You're going downhill, you're going downhill. When you're walking on that path right there, that arrow, it's hard to see when I zoom in here. But if I walk, if I start at this point and I go this direction, that's what is that? That's y increasing, right? Y is increasing, so it's going to be negative. Does that make sense, everybody? So the relative positioning. The tendency might be to think you always go out. Uh, sorry. The tendency might be to think you always go out. Are you always going out? No. X is increasing and Y is increasing. The, your sample points can matter a great deal. So where's 3, 5? 3, 5 is right about where there's 3, and then 5 is right there. So that's, is that the point? Did I label the right point? So if we want fx, 3, 5, what's fixed? y is fixed. So y is fixed, so if y is fixed, you're looking at this rate of change right there. Does everybody see that? The red I just put in there? y is fixed. So what point, it's all about choosing points, right? Mm -hmm. The contours are the only ones that are actually exact. So I would recommend choosing contours. So if I was doing this, I would choose that point right there and that point right there is what I would choose. So if you're doing that, what's that going to be? It's going to be 8 minus what? 8 minus, look at the contour diagram and tell me. 8 minus what? 12. 12. 8 minus 12, and then on the bottom, x is changing. What is that going from 6 to what? 6 to, it's not quite 0, right? So maybe like what? 0.2. Like, I don't know, like 0.25, like a quarter, something like that, right? Negative 0 0.7, cool, okay. So then if we want to do FY, oh, did it ask us to do FY? No, but let's do FY. If we wanted to do FY on this one at 3.5, it's the same thing, but what are you doing? You're going up like that. So maybe pick that point and that point. So X is fixed. So what's that gonna be? 12 minus what? 12 minus eight over seven minus like, 3.7, like three and three quarters. So you end up with four over two and a quarter. Correct? Did I do that subtract? Oh, that's totally the wrong subtraction. I'm sorry. Three and a quarter, right? Like that. Does everybody see what I subtracted right there? Does everybody see it? Take a look at it. You're looking at that right there. So, so FT 18.6 is going to be what? 90 minus what? 90, oh, not divide. I'm just, it's, eh, sorry. 90 minus 95 over what? 20 minus 16, so you have negative 5 over 4. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then we have the green, it's just going up this time, right? So what are the two answers you're going to get? So this is going to be F of C. Let me get this highlighted right there. We love the highlighting. F of C at 18.6. I bet the two answers you're going to see are the one I like, 98 minus 92 over 2 minus 15. What's the other one you're going to see? Thank you. 
Yep. So I would do it this way, 82 over, what is it, um, 2 minus 15? Yep. What's the other one you might see? 98 minus 93 over what? 2 minus what? 6. You're absolutely right. I did what I tried to point out before as a really common mistake. I pointed that arrow going up, but is, where is Y increasing on this diagram? Y is increasing going down. You are absolutely correct. I'd much rather you do it consistently like that. Yes, I flipped both, and it's therefore going to have the same answer. I would just like you to write it in the forwards fashion. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? So technically, I'm going to do something here that doesn't change any of the numeric answers, but I would really like it just for my own sanity and clarity to be this instead. So what would mine be? 82 minus 98 over 15 minus 2. And the other one you'd see would be 82 minus 93 over 15 minus what? 6. And actually, it does change it this way, because instead of taking 2 and 6, it takes 15 and 6. So it actually changes it, theoretically. So you get two answers on this. Oh, you get negative 16 over 13. And on this one, you get what? Negative 11 over 9. So are they, are they pretty close? Yes. They're pretty close. What are the units on this one right here? What's the units on this one? What's changing? 